All right. What is up, everybody? We've got one more break going live tonight. Kicking off the end of the weekend here, getting rid of those Sunday scaries with a nice Topps Chrome Formula One Hobby Box Break. Coming at you again. Looking to get some nice hits to end off the weekend. We've got some some pretty solid pulls over the last couple breaks. Um, got back into the groove of hitting an auto. So still hitting an auto almost every single break on the channel. Love to see that. Um, but today, you know, we've we've got some familiar faces getting back in the break. We've got some new folks. So always good to see. So real quick, we're going to get this up on the screen for you to see who's going home with which F2 team today. And I'm going to talk about some new ideas for future rigs. All right. So you can see here for tonight, we've got Tung Lee taking home Mercedes once again, third time in a row, had a couple busts for Mercedes, the last two boxes. So we're hoping that this box has something special in it. He's also taking home Renault, so he'll get two F2 teams. Then we got Michael Wynn taking Red Bull, once again, coming in hot, trying to pull the nice Max, or maybe an Elma. Cody, Pritz are taking McLaren and Alpha Tari. Nice little combo there, the Lando Norris Pierre Gasly combo. We got a new breaker here, Edward taking Ferrari and Haas. Two Ferrari powered teams. We'll see how he does on his first break. Appreciate you filling it out too, as always. We got Y Yin taking Williams. And then David Johansson with Racing Point and Alfa Romeo. And then we've got another first time breaker here. In addition to David and Edward, we've got Paul taking Prima, looking for those mix. So do want to let everyone know the way we do it here on the stream is I'm going to randomize these 10 teams for everyone. We do it 10 times, 10 randomizations live on the stream, and then that'll be the team that you're locked in for. Now, again, I did want to say that I had a couple ideas. One of the ideas I have coming up for future breaks is I'm actually going to move these 10 F2 teams into a new slot. So you'll be able to purchase the all other F2 team. So obviously Prima is still going to be its own slot as Mick Schumacher is such a big pull, but these 10 teams are going to be their own slot. So trying to, you know, obviously the box prices keep rising and everything. And I want to try to keep the main teams, you know, as cheap as possible. So adding in another slot for these 10 after this break. So this break, we'll do it the same way. But then going forward, you'll be able to pick them up. Now, again, picking up this slot is, is going to be pretty beneficial because Carlin, you know, you've got Yuki Sonoda, High Tech, you've got Nikita Mazepin, and on Uni Virtuoso, you've got Guan Yu Zhou. So two people that are already in F1 and one that is destined to be. So definitely some good polls available there. So without further ado, we're going to get this randomized here and we're going to hop in. So we'll do it 10 times. All right, here we go. We got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here comes the last one. Ten. All right. So we got Tung Lee taking Sharus and Trident. We got Michael Wynn taking Campos. We got Cody Kritzer with Carlin and Hightech. Ed taking NP and ART. YN got Dams. And then David Johannesson with Uni Virtuoso and HWA. So congratulations there for the F2 teams. And we will get this kicked off here in just a moment. All right. Back with us live here, everybody. You know the drill. We're going to slice it open live on camera here, guys. Nice. Break that top seal. A little extra styrofoam. Let's break this apart here. There we go. She's a beaut. All right. Move that off to the side. Now let's count them up. 
first thing. We, we haven't hit any 19-pack boxes yet. Everyone, everyone's been legit with 18. You know, I'd heard about a couple of people getting 19, but I haven't seen it yet. Not in any of the ones I've pulled myself or on stream. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there's the first half. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Once again. All right, so we are all set here. And we'll make this the second half. All right, so we've got some work to do to live up to the last box. Hold an orange Charles Leclerc base, followed by a Lance Stroll autograph. So really have our work cut out for us. But I believe, I believe that we can bring home, I would love to see some Lewis or Max base with some color. That would be nice, but let's get it started. First pack here. A little bit of first pack magic. Let's see if we can make it happen. All right, and we're starting off with Sebastian Vettel, the race car. Very nice there. Oh. Card sticking sometimes. Ooh, the Cyril, a beatable base. No longer in Formula One, but still working in motorsport. I think he actually still has a job at the original Renault now. I think he's now working for Renault. AMG Petronas, that's Mercedes, baby. We've got the Mercedes logo and my ugly mug in the background. And the last card in the first pack, we do have a purple We've got MP Motorsports. So Ed getting the first purple of the day for MP Motorsport, and that's 218 out of 399. Very nice. Taking some color in the first pack. Not a bad way to start off. Of course, you know, we'd love to see the color on some Formula One. But. We will take it. We'll take the first purple to start the day here. And we'll hope that's a sign of things to come. Moving into the next pack. Look at that. Lewis Hamilton, Charles Leclerc, and Max for stopping. You know, and then on the boxes, they have the same three plus Lando Norris. So they had kind of already pegged those four as the most popular. Really, you can't argue with that comes down to them and maybe George Russell. But we've got a Max Verstappen winner in Germany. Germany 2019, what a crazy race. This was the race where Botas went into the wall, out of the race. Leclerc went into the wall, out of the race. Hulkenberg into the wall, out of the race. Hamilton into the wall, into the race. Stayed in, went through the pits. We all saw, you know, 45 second pit stop for Lewis Hamilton. I think he ended up coming home ninth. Daniel Kvyat actually got on the podium that race. Next one is Kevin Magnuson. We actually saw Robert Kubica pick up points, George Russell's old teammate. Uh, and he had been beaten by George pretty much the entire year. But that one race, he did manage to beat George. And he was rewarded with a point scoring finish. Robert Schwartzman for Prima, also another rising star here. Could definitely see a future in Formula 1. And the last card in the pack, we've got an Alex Albon, freshest refractor. Rookie card, very nice. Now, I tell you what, if Albon comes back for AlphaTauri, if Pierre Gasly finds somewhere else to go, and other gainful employment, then there's a potential that Red Bull could could have Albon back in that seat. You know, he's done a great job for them in the sim. I know, you know, he obviously 
has shared some regrets that, you know, this car this year he thinks is a lot easier to drive than the car he was driving last year. So he wishes that he had a chance to drive this car uh, to see how he'd stack up against Max. But Red Bull is very cutthroat. They don't give you much time. I mean, Max Verstappen won his first ever race for Red Bull. Spain 2016, if you haven't seen it, go watch. Amazing race. Obviously, 2016 was the year that Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton were duking it out for the championship. And, you know, we really saw those two Mercedes, first first two corners took each other out. And Max Verstappen in his first race up from Toro Rosso, then at the time, to Red Bull, ended up winning that race. Speaking of Max, driver of the day in Hungary, followed by a Lando Norris rookie car driver of the day in Belgium. Belgium, that's Spa, Franco Shops, that's where we're going next. Next race for Formula One, the circus renews in Belgium. Lewis Hamilton, his first pull from the box, hoping to see if we can get some color on Lewis instead of just these award winners. The last card in the pack. Ooh, another Max Verstappen. This time, the Refractor variety. So let's see, this is number 179. Verstappen with the Refractor. Very nice. But yeah, you know, Daniel Kibyat, who most recently was racing for AlphaTauri last season. He's actually a sim and reserve driver for Alpine this year. But he was on Red Bull, and he had a couple races in a row where he caused collisions, um, and it was kind of right around the summer break, and so they decided to move him down and move Max up. And then, as luck would have it, Max and Daniel Ricciardo, who was on Red Bull at the time, Watch the two Mercedes sail into each other and take them out, take each other out. And then Ricardo ended up, he was actually winning the race, but was put on, you know, you could argue the worst of the two strategies in terms of pitting once or twice. And Max Verstappen ended up with the win. His first race ever for Red Bull. And here we have BWT HWA Race Lab. BWT, obviously the pink sponsor that you see, that you saw for Racing Point. Still sponsors Aston Martin, but in a bit of a smaller capacity. Luca Giotto for High Tech. Uh, and Rhino, how to sign up on my Instagram. So if you've sent me a message, I'll go ahead and check that, and I will get in touch with you. So if you've sent me a message, I haven't seen it, I haven't been on my Instagram yet today, but I will check it out and make sure I see what's going on and get you in on one of our next breaks, buddy. So we got Daruvula from Carlin, and the last card in the pack is a Louis Delatraz from Charus. So a nice world on wheels there. I really do love these cards. You know, it's funny, I think in our last break, I actually pulled the Kevin Magnuson, the Roman Grosjean, and the Haas VF20 which is the race car for that year. Um, so I got the the triple combo for Haas in our last opening for the World on Wheels. I think they're pretty cool inserts. I know some people prefer them to the track tags. Some people are the other way around, but I think both of them are pretty cool in inserts. I think the inserts coming up in the new top set, not Topps Chrome, but just tops originally got Apex Predators. That looks like a pretty cool insert. Um, and a couple others. Awesome, Rhino. Yeah, definitely. I will check your message. Uh, yeah, I love Formula One. I tell you what, that's one of the big reasons I'm into this. Uh, got the, the passion for Formula One from my father, so hoping to pass that on here. And if uh, everyone can learn a bit about Formula One along the way, that's awesome. And here we've got Jan. Manjo Alfa Romeo, followed by a Daniel Tictum from Dams, who just recently was dropped as a Williams Junior Program driver. Uh, he did make some disparaging comments on a Twitch stream about 
Nicholas Latifi being a pay driver. And the team and both Dan and the team are adamant that that's not the reason he was dropped. Um, but either way, he no longer has that backing. So we'll see if he makes it into Formula One. Lewis Hamilton, winner in Russia. Nice card there. And the last card in the pack is a Pierre Gasly, World on Wheels, for Scuderia AlfaTauri. It's an interesting to hear Scuderia, right? Because generally you think Scuderia, you think Scuderia Ferrari. But you have to remember that both AlfaTauri and Ferrari actually have their home bases in Italy. So, you know, it was a, a really big deal when Pierre Gasly ended up winning in Italy for them just a couple of years ago. To think that Pierre Gasly would never win a race with Red Bull, but here he is with AlphaTauri, cranking them out. Yeah, Apex. Definitely, we got the Apex Predator is a new insert in that new set. We'll have to see what those look like. Now, the new Tops that's coming out, again, it is not Chrome. So if you're familiar with Tops products, you know, they generally have the regular Tops. They have Tops Chrome. Tops Chrome are obviously nice and shiny, like you see here in this Sebastian Vettel. Um, but that new set does not have autographs. So something to just keep in mind. Now, they do have patches, right? So they'll have patches of their racing suit or their gloves or something like that. So I, mean, I believe they're called relics is what they refer to them as an insert. So instead of chasing autographs, we're going to be chasing relic patches in the next set. So look out for those. Sebastian Vettel base, though. Coming in, very nice, followed by a Lance Stroll base. You'll have to see the base. I know a lot of people are kind of collecting, you know, each base. I've seen many people looking for, you know, the regular base, the refractor, the sapphire, and then maybe a purple. It's a nice little combination there. And we've got a combination of Kimi Raikkonen followed by another Kimi Raikkonen. This time, World on Wheels edition. Kimi Raikkonen. So Alfa Romeo picking up a couple cards there in that pack. Get some more sleeves for these. So Ferrari with the Seb Vettel base as well. And then we did see the Lance Stroll base. You know, in the last box we opened, we saw the Lance Stroll autograph. So definitely getting a lot of Lance Stroll love here. All right, we're through six packs. So one third of the way through, closing in on the halfway point. And starting it off, we've got Alex Albon. Rookie card for Red Bull. Once again, we've seen quite a few Albons. Oh, we've got Franz Haas. Now, I have to say, just a team principal here, but this is actually the first time I've ever seen this card. I've opened a lot of these boxes. I've never seen a Franz Toss. So I don't know. Maybe it's a rare team principal to pull, but there you go for Alpha Tari. And then we got another Lewis Hamilton. This one, I believe, is for the DHL Fastest Lap Award. Sure is. And the last one is Jack Aiken Refractor. Future stars for Campos Racing. We'll put that one up there. All right, guys. We started strong with the purple in the first pack. But ever since, it's been a little quiet. Is this the, the calm before the storm? Before we just start pulling banger after banger? banger because that's what we really need here we're down to two packs in the first half and you know how much can happen in two packs or in two races you know going into the last two races in the first half of the season red bull had a 33 or max stop and a 33 point lead in the driver's championship now he's behind to lewis hamilton so let's see we've got seb vettel Another Ferrari card here, driver of the day. 
in Singapore, a race that he won. Which maybe Leclerc should have won, but Ferrari's strategy call handed it to Sebastian Vettel. Roman Grosjean with the base, the man who lives, who walked out of fire. We've got a Toto Wolf, so really racking up the team principles here. And to end it off, we've got Kevin Magnuson, World on Wheels. There you go again. I think that's two boxes in a row that I've seen the Kevin Magnuson World on Wheels insert. And we'll get Toto Wolf sleeved up here. You know, Toto Wolf, interestingly enough, did actually have a bit of a short driving career himself. Uh, could never really break in through the junior formulas, but did have a little bit of Red Bull backing, actually, ironically enough. And now Red Bull is his largest rival over at Mercedes. All right. Last pack of the first half. Let's see if we can end with a little first half last pack magic. You know, I'd, I'd love to see it. Let's see what we can do. And we're starting off with James Key. So again, really banging out these team principals, head engineers. We got Callum, Isla, another great driver. Doesn't have a Formula 1 or a Formula 2 drive actually right now. Reserve sim driver for Alfa Romeo. So hoping to get in over there. And then we have a Charus team logo. And the final card of the first half is... Oh, sticking. Whoa! We've got a Yehan Daruvula green autograph. Oh, my God. Another autograph. This is six out of seven boxes we've got in an autograph. This is for Carlin. So this is going to Cody. And this is, let's see, number 51 out of 99. You can see on the left side there, we've got the Nick. Definitely have a nick there, but oh my god, an autograph. Whew. Now, granted, you you know, as a Carlin driver, you would have loved to have seen Yuki Sonoda, but god, you can't be mad at the green. Let's take another look. The green autograph out of 99. Look at that. Ehan Daruvala. If he ends up Making it into Formula One, that is a really nice hit. So congratulations, Cody. Grabbing Carlin there with a nice pickup, man. Big stuff. Congratulations. What a way to end the first half. We've still got nine packs left. But seriously, this is crazy. The amount of autographs. They say... That in a case, you're only supposed to get around six. I've opened seven boxes and we've hit six autographs. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Unless every other box didn't have an auto. But I don't know. I've seen some have an autograph in every single box. Now, we've missed that by one so far. Because we're six out of seven. But, wow. What a card. And that's why the Formula 2 teams, guys, I'm telling you. Now, I don't know exactly what pricing is going to look like, but when you get that Formula 2 team slot, you're going to be going home with 10 teams. A lot of opportunities for autographs, just like that. So really big congratulations, Cody. You love to see that because, you know, that's something that you're not even expecting. You know, you're buying in, you're looking for your hits on your F1 teams, and then out of nowhere, bam. F2 autograph. Out of 99, too, the green one. Very nice. Look at that. We're just going to take another peek. Very nice. All right. And we've got Carlos Sainz. Followed by Prima. Moving into our first pack here in the second half. Ooh, Red Bull Racing. It looks like a refractor. And behind it, hey, we've got a purple Lewis. Okay. There we go. It's not the base. But a purple Lewis Hamilton, finally some color for my man. And I tell you, purple, that's one of Lewis's favorite colors. You see it on his helmet. Um, he really does loving mixing the purple in. The Still We Rise, very nice card for Lewis. 
Number 52, so missed it by eight. If it had been 44 out of 399, you're, you're probably doubling your value here. But wow, Lewis Hamilton, purple. We'll definitely get that up there. And Red Bull Racing team logo, but refractor team logo. So not too shabby there. All right, not a bad way. You know, first pack of the first half, we started off with a Formula 2 purple. Now we've hit the Lewis purple. Yeah, no, I know, Tongue, I hear you, man. We really need the number one. Maybe we can follow up the color with a base Lewis. I would love to see a base Lewis Hamilton. I feel like at this point, Tongue, you deserve it, man. You've been riding through third time in a row taking Mercedes. And that's the thing right there. They're the most expensive and one of the most popular slots. And you gotta, you really gotta hit the big Lewis. And now we've at least got some color. We've at least got some color. We'll take, take one more look here at the winner in China. Beautiful. Do you have... How are we doing? We got a little nick there on the left. Right side looks good, though. All right, guys. Let's see what we can bang out here in the second half. Still lots of time. Lots of time here. And we're starting off with a Charles Leclerc. Good man. Driver of the day in Bahrain. And then... Carlin, F2 team. Same team as that guy, Daruvala. The Red Bull colors for Carlin. Williams Racing, the mirror. There you go. And the final card is a Roman Grosjean. So what did I what did I say earlier about the world on wheels and pulling the Kevin Magnuson and the Roman Grosjean. All we need is the Haas logo, and we'll have the trifecta yet again. All right, we're down to, let's see, I think seven more packs. Seven more packs, guys. Pushing through. Let's see if we can get a nice base. Get a nice base color. That's what we want to see. We're starting off with an Alex Albon rookie card base. Not bad. Do a little bit of a print line up there in the top. You can see a couple of them actually. Unfortunate, but yeah, man. Gutted. Unfortunate, but can you do the next card? Marcus Armstrong. Marcus, you know, interestingly enough, if you get a Marcus Armstrong autograph in your pack, you're actually not getting an autograph. You're going to get one of those little cards that says you're due an autograph, and you have to send it in by the 1st of 2023, I think January 1st, 2023, to get it. Um, but yeah, apparently Marcus cannot be bothered to sign his cards. Ooh, Nikita Mazepin, future stars for high tech. Very nice base card there. And the Flying Finn, Valtteri Bottas, who currently at Mercedes, but we're on the summer break. And I tell you what, guys, within the next couple weeks, we're going to know. We're going to know Valtteri Bottas's future, George Russell's future. And I tell you what, if George Russell ends up getting that call to go up to Mercedes. It's going to make his career trajectory look a lot better, and I tell you what, not that his cards aren't already worth a, a pretty penny, but if he goes to Mercedes, you know they're going to go up, especially because these will then be the only cards you can see him on Williams in his rookie year, so... Now, interestingly enough, Valtteri Bottas, who everyone's kind of been lamenting um, as, you know, a driver that kind of needs to step aside, he got his start at Williams. 
So they could end up doing a swap. If Russell moves up, you could see Botas go back down, go to where it all started. A lot of people that worked with Botas uh, are still on the team. So could definitely see that happen. I know a lot of people still really enjoyed working with Valtteri. And he was a rookie. Then got called up to Mercedes when Nico Rosberg quit unexpectedly after winning the 2016 World Championship. And he did a pretty damn good job. You guys got to remember, as we move in here to an Esteban Ocon, you got to remember that Lewis Hamilton is one of the greatest drivers of all time. Like him, love him, doesn't matter. He is one of the greatest drivers of all time. So Valtteri Botas had his work cut out for him. You know, he had one of the best cars, but he just happened to be going up against one of the best drivers of all time. And George Russell wants to take his chances going up against the greatest driver of all time in Lewis Hamilton. He wants that drive at Mercedes. You know he's ready. He wants it. And we'll have to see if he gets it. Last card in the pack. Oh, man. Oh, is a Max Verstappen refractor. Very nice there. Number 158. Max Verstappen refractor. And we've got the George Russell with the red helmet. We'll put him on the right side. Esteban Akon obviously just got the big win, first win of his career. So last year he got his first podium with Renault, and this year his first win with Alpine. Rhino, I agree. I'd say Botas to Williams or Alfa Romeo because it sounds like Alfa Romeo may be parting ways with Kimi Raikkonen. So what better way for one Finn, from one Finn to another... For Kimmy to pass his seat over to Botas would be very fitting. And moving on, we've got Alex Albon, driver of the day in the United States. Followed by another Roman Grosjean. Seeing quite a few Roman Grosjeans in this break. Next up, Felipe Drogovic. For MP, Motorsport, and F2. And the last card in the pack. Oh, is a purple Ferrari team logo. I tell you, this is one of the team logos that's pretty widely collected. You really see this Red Bull Mercedes. But Ferrari, very iconic. Number 78 out of 399. Side looks good. And pretty good on the other side as well. There's a very small neck, but pretty solid. So there's some more color. Some purple for Ferrari. Put them over there with the Max. Very nice. Actually, we're going to flip them to the left side. There we go. All right, guys, we are down... To four packs. Four packs. And we've still got time. We still have time to hit. We've hit the autograph. Gotta love it. The green autograph, no less. We've got two purples. We've got refractors all over the place. We could use like an orange or a red, maybe. Let's get some special color mixed in. Let's really paint it up here. MP Motorsport team. We've got Samia for Campos. Yeah. Another Lewis Hamilton winner in Hungary. Followed by Sultan Ayam for Dams. All right, just going to get more sleeves out here we're down to the last three packs guys we we need all of the hype in the chat let's get it going see what we can pull can we pull some fire to end the stream we've got three packs left guys we need something 
big. Something to match the autograph. You know, it's nice to hit the autograph, especially the green out of 99 autograph instead of, I believe, the normal ones. There's about 300 or so, 399. Sometimes they're odd numbers. I've seen like 451. Not sure if it has to do with how many they could get them to sign or what, but we're down to three packs, guys. I still have not pulled a red. We haven't seen an out of five. How about a Lewis Hamilton base red? Just for fun. You know? How about that? Let's see it. Or maybe a Max Verstappen. But we're getting it started with an Alex Albon rookie card. The car. Followed by a Carlos Sainz for McLaren. Then we've got James Allison, technical director for Mercedes. Last card in the pack, it's Geo time. Giovinazzi, Antonio Giovinazzi for Alfa Romeo. Ending out that pack, and we're down to two packs, guys. But much like I said at the beginning of the stream, a lot can change, a lot can happen in two packs or two races. Whether it's Lewis Hamilton clipping Max's tire and sending him careening into the barriers going on a win, or Valtteri Bottas bowling for Formula One cars on the first turn in Hungary, a lot can happen in two packs. Here we go. Let's see what the second to last pack has for us. Let's see what we can get here. We're starting off with Racing Point. Team logo. Followed by another team logo. This time, Uni Virtuoso for F2. Then the Daniel Kvyat. I always think this card is purple. Always. Just because of the color of the card. But base card there. And the next... Ooh, is a HWA. This is F2. HWA Team Logo Refractor. Very nice. All right. We're moving in to the last pack, guys. We need, we need some last pack magic here. We've gotten two purples, which is great. We've gotten the green autograph, which, of course, you love to see. But we need something in this last pack. Last pack magic is what we like to call it here. And we could use a healthy dose right now, guys. Last pack of the, show, of the weekend. Last pack of the break. Before we move in to the later times of August. Now, again, we've got another, we've got three more, two more weekends without a race, and then we get a race on that third, but it is still three weeks, just under three weeks until the next race, so we've got a lot of time, a lot of time to kill, and I've got a lot of boxes to open, so plenty more coming your way, but let's see what we've got here, starting with Charles Leclerc, driver of the day in Great Britain. Got driver of the day in Great Britain again this year. Followed by Yuki Sonoda. There you go. This is the Carlin that you want to see. Up next. Oh, 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 oh. Up next is Daniel Kvyat, World on Wheels. And what do we have for the last card of the pack? Last card of the break. We've got a gold 70th anniversary Kevin Magnuson. So we do end with some last pack magic. The gold 70th for Kevin Magnuson. Very nice. Now, again, these gold 70th anniversaries aren't going to be numbered, but very nice hit to end the stream there. 
So again, we take the, the three purples, actually, because we've got the F2 purple, the Ferrari logo purple, and the Lewis Hamilton purple. We got the gold 70th, Kevin Magnuson. And then again, the Yihan Daruvala autograph for Carlin. So congratulations, everyone. Didn't get the Lewis base or the Max base, but at least we finally got some color for Mercedes. Again, we've still got one more box to do uh, coming up sometime this next week. And then I do have a brand new case I'm be cracking open. So if you want to get into another break, let me know. Send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. Scott James on Facebook. Scott or Pyrites underscore card underscore castle on Instagram. And everyone, I hope you have had a fantastic time. Enjoy watching us pull some fire, learn a little bit about F1. And until next time, this is Scott, a.k.a. Pyrite, signing off.